Raisin bread French toast is on the menu today. This is one of the easiest recipe ever. All you need is egg, meat of choice, and I'm using four slices of bread. Guys, this is super easy. I'm using a griddle. You can do this on your stovetop. Welcome to my channel. Please don't judge my grill or my griddle. <laughs> I've had it for years, guys. I pop my meat on there and I'm getting ready to prepare the eggs. Guys, all you need is to crack three eggs. I use three eggs for four slices of bread. Guys, let me tell you, I'm the seasoning queen, but for this recipe, we are not adding anything. Why? Because the bread is already seasoned for you. The bread is tasty. It has all the flavors you need. And while my turkey bacon is going, uh, I am getting the eggs ready so this i tried to use up all the spaces on my griddle guys if you don't have a griddle go get one especially if you eat breakfast food a lot this is a lifesaver uh so just pop in the bread in there i was going to grab my butter spray whatever oil you have just put it on there um once i'm done spraying it i just transfer the egg soaked bread on the surface and this is what I do just transfer flip front and back that's it and do it for the rest of the two slices of bread that you have remaining and what I don't like about adding any liquid like milk in there it gets a little soggy guys I've been making french toast since time immemorial so I know what I'm talking about okay unless you like soggy french toast so at this point, I'm making the uh, making this bread on 250 Fahrenheit so that way it can cook slowly. Look at that bacon. Look at that turkey bacon sitting pretty. So here I have my leftover egg. I just added one more. I'm going to make scrambled eggs, guys. So if you want to make whatever type of egg, you're free to do so. This is how we like it over here, okay? So it's time to flip it. I let it sit for about four minutes. And when you flip it, the back should have a like a golden crust. Uh, that's how you know it's done. And when I flip it, I usually grease the other side of the griddle. And I pour my eggs in there. Guys, this takes, this literally took me less than 10 minutes. So it's the quickest recipe to make. Don't make this when you have a guest. If you don't want your guest to return, do not make this. Because guys, the smell in the house is amazing. Like raisin bread is awesome. It smells up the whole house. It makes you feel like you're making something really, really awesome, which you are. Come on. So we don't do regular French toast in the house. We're addicted to this type of bread because, I mean, why do regular when you can be extra? <laughs> like, come on. OK, why are you going to be a regular French toast when you can have when you can be pretty like a, a raisin bread French toast? So just um over here trying to make sure my scrambled eggs is done and my scrambled eggs is there's no single spice or seasoning not even salt if you like cheese this is the time to sprinkle in your cheese guys this is the first time that i don't add any seasoning or spice to my meal because the bread is tasty enough with the syrup believe me okay with the syrup and I have recipes, guys, for blueberry syrup, cranberry syrup, or strawberry syrup. If you want to check that out, it goes really well with the French toast. Please do so. Guys, I am plating this delicious meal for you. It was quick and easy. It's so tasty, guys. If you do this, you'll never go to IHOP. I'm telling you. Like, this is so... In fact, if you want to get engaged or get married, guys... Make this for your man. You're going to get a ring. It's guaranteed, okay? Look at how pretty that looks. I love the colors. Of course, it's not French toast if you don't drizzle with oh, syrup. Check out the video, guys, on the screen. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.